Dude, what is up? We are here. It's Tuesday. Please excuse me. I was feeling a little under the weather slash had a thousand things to do. I don't know if I was in the uh, last episode much. Going through a move, going through a lot of stuff right now. So kind of hard for me to be on film as much as I used to be. But uh, hopefully soon I'll be able to get on film much more. As you guys can see right here, boom, we got a few orders. I don't even think this is close to everything. But right now, I think, you know, this is what we got to handle. So we'll handle this real quick. As you can see, we got two shadow toe lows. We got the brand new DMP pack. 13s you don't really see those too often speaking about too often the wallabies if you know you know obviously there we got not the double nickel but the chicago 2012s obviously the double nickel has that 45 right there we got some foam posits we got evan coming through with some more stuff that probably sold this is a nice one right here the roger federer jordan Three vapor i think they're called i have a lot of history with this sneaker this flea market video didn't come out yet but i definitely sniped these at the flea market for 100 bucks so that was definitely a great deal I honestly think they're brand new. They just have some obviously issues with yellowing, etc. We got a foam runner, got a what the KD. Speaking of KD, what the heck are you doing? Because like as a Nets fan, it's just sad. <laughs> we got two wrestling figures there, which are both very good sales. I think the Kurt Angle went for like what 85 and the Anvil went for something around there as well. Damn, that's a nice one. The Ante Dunkupo jersey we got a bunch of t-shirts also to find shouts to everyone who ordered a t-shirt i need to shout out jesus from california because uh your lady got you a shirt and, and you know shout outs to you so shouts to you we appreciate it obviously shouts to everyone who watched the flea market video uh, i dropped on sunday that was one that honestly I, I didn't really like too much and after i watched it I, I really think it's like a masterpiece some of these videos like my personal opinion i just really love the interactions with people kind of people watching some of the swag you see at the flea market is just ridiculous like the outfits that people wear like walking by it's just a thing of beauty sometimes so I definitely like that video shout out to everyone who watched it I have a really good video on deck from the national it's about an hour long I'm just kind of like tweaking it and making sure it's perfect for my liking and all that we got some more stuff over here can you show off that Toronto jersey for sure that's a beauty right there new with the tags great great jersey right there some caps mmm Nothing wrong with some caps. These are John t-shirts, I think. Got some John t-shirts. So yeah, it's been very hot. I think this is the last day though that's supposed to be super hot from what I've been checking. So I think today's supposed to be like over 90. And after today, it's going back to the 80s, which is good. Just gonna put more stuff in here, take a picture and see what happens today. Scorcher out there. Just had a deal go down, bought a couple things. We're gonna rifle through real quick. Here we got a pair of these 550s. I guess they're coming out with a bunch of different colorways. I don't know what these are called, but to me, I'm gonna call them the sage greens. The sage even green? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna call these sage. I really don't know what they're called, but that's what they give off to me that vibe of sage. This is kind of a nice one to, to come in. This is 11 and a half coral low, which I don't have in my collection. Do I need these? I don't know, but it's cool to see 11 and a half come in. This is one I don't know if I've speak, spoken about. What are these called? The Neapolitan mm -hmm. Jordan 3s. Obviously, you know, if you guys got that ice cream, got strawberry, vanilla, chocolate, you can mix it all up. These are cool, I guess, but again, it's a women's shoe. It does look like a women's shoe, so I get that part though. So this is a women's size 12 men's 10 and a half we got a used pair of cardinals in this is probably true i hate seeing just because i know we have a bunch but we'll still buy them if we can get them for a price where we can sell them for a good price or what we think is a fair price and then last but not least here we have the barclays which again barclays are really cool obviously when you look for those sneakers it's better to get them in bigger sizes because they sell better in bigger sizes in my opinion anything else guys it's hot it's hot heavy emphasis on hots it's hot Jordan's hot, so we gotta chill in here for a little bit. A lot of people are probably staying home today, which is cool. Hopefully we're gonna get some stuff done, see what happens today. 950, 950, okay, cool. <laughs> These three I'll probably hold off on. The, the 700s is going for retail. I'll say take payout on the, um, the turtle dollars is like two ninety three. You get that right now if you sold it. The green glows they're going for about retail, so I'll hold up on these. The green glows just don't move for us. I'll probably be interested in the bone and possibly these, depending on how much you would be at. Probably like two hundred total for both. For both. These I actually hold up on just looking at them a little bit more. I'll probably be interested in these at seventy five. Yeah. No. All right. What's the best you want to do on these? Yeah. Someone said they could come around the one twenty. 
120. Oh, so for that far off. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll probably pass. If you get 120, I'll say definitely take that because that's like marked before them right now. But everything else, I'll hold off on then. All right, thanks. There you go. Yeah, no problem. Guys, I don't know if we got a lot of content today, but if we didn't, that's okay. Hopefully, we'll get more this week. Storm's coming in. It's about the last super hot day, I feel like. So after today, hopefully, it's going to cool off a little bit. What's the um, season after summer? Fall. 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 All right. Fall's coming in. So uh, here we go. One and done. From over here. See you guys tomorrow. Peace out. YouTube, what is good? I don't know if you can tell, but morning has been kind of crappy. Woke up early in the morning. I guess there was a power outage last night. Did you, your power go out? My water's out. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So there was a power <laughs> outage last night. I guess the power outage forced uh, one of our alarms to go off in our warehouse. So the alarm went off. I rushed over here as soon as I saw that. It just like hasn't been the best morning. I got a thousand things to do. You might not see me much, but let's talk about these orders real quick because that's what's most important. As you guys can see, this was the shocker last night, the off-white four a brand new size what's that nine and a half men's mm -hmm. nine and a half men's that sold for full asking very happy about that we got these bad bunnies we got this brand new concord size seven y we got the Kyrie's. those are super rare the sneaker room exclusive joints 72 and 10 lows brand new size 13 which again i don't think is a terrible sneaker price on those now five years ago would be you know a hundred dollars more i'd assume we got some authentics down below this dante culpepper authentic as well as this carl banks authentic we got the chaps polo jack it. We got an Adidas jersey that we actually got yesterday. That's a great sale. Speaking of yesterday, we got these 550s yesterday that sold as well. We got a pair of, you know, lightly loved and beat up 270s as well. Some Sesames and Flyknits. Shouts to the dude who got the Flyknits because he says he's a big supporter of the channel, so we have to throw in some stickers. I don't know if I talked about those yet. I forget what they're called, the LX trainers or something like that. Jordan would mention those the other day, so obviously now we know both pairs we had sold, so that's a good sign. Hannah Dunks, man, those things still moving, so, you know, call them a brick, call them whatever it is. Those things are always sell for us there's a couple more things that we have to find but other than that this is everything that we got so far i don't know if jordan mentioned it in the last episode because i didn't watch it yet but uh, we do have new t-shirts in stock so everyone if you're interested in t-shirts right now we have small through 6xl actually 5xl and 6xl and 4xl are pretty scarce but we do have some for you guys because you guys are hitting me up like yo what's up with the big guys it's like hey i got you hopefully we'll have those available for a minute let's get the rest of the stuff that we sold let's take a picture pack up all this stuff and see what happens today i never more than so this uh, is we that's a size yeah so eight and a half and what size you need an eight and a half that's an oh. eight yeah okay how much for the onyx i was thinking like 140 140 and how much you want for the sesame's uh like 240, 240. Yeah. i think the sesame's we want to pack on but let me see where they're at yeah. easy day um hit yeah <laughs> they don't fit me i thought I went like half size up, but... They don't fit you? Yeah, I think I need an eight and a half in those. Yeah, I was gonna say, if you're an eight, you're gonna need an eight and a half. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't like think of it. Yeah, anything of Yeezys, you wanna mm -hmm. go up. How much you said hair again? It's said 240. These I would just hold off on, honestly. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. For the Vermillions, can you do 110? Nah. What's the best you wanna do here? Probably like 130. 130? Yeah. Can we meet at 120? I can't. I'd probably be stuck at the 120 here. Right. Yeah, that's cool. Um, Just hold on. You sure you don't want to do 120? Nah. Because I can like, pay out like 140. That's fine. That pay out 120. For the Onyx? Yeah, check. On go. I, I was doing it on go. I think it's like a little higher. Yeah, they're going for 163 on go. The pay out's like 140. Yeah, I'll probably be stuck at the 120. Honestly, if you sell them on GOAT, you'll probably get 140. But once, yeah. you, once you take out the um, the withdrawal and stuff like that, it's going to dip to like the 120, 110. So I'll probably be stuck there. I'm checking to see if we have the okay. eight and a half. Would you do just resell on the Sesame's or no? Uh, no, nah, I'll pass because okay. you're holding on to those. Alright. Yeah, this would count as like damage, right? Yeah. I guess I'll do 120 then. You can do That's 120. Fine. Yeah. yeah. Check these out and try them on if you have to. Okay. Um, just to make sure that they're good. You guys got Zell, right? Or you uh, can't do Zell? Uh, yeah, Venmo. Yeah, I could do Venmo. Venmo, I right, could. Cool. I'll just need to see your um your QR code. Yeah. Okay. How much you want for these? How much would you get? For uh, like I said, I usually pass on these. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you had a price in mind. What are you asking for these? 
250. How much? 250 each. What did you say for the NLDs again? Maybe you can give me this as fifty dollars or something. Um, I'll do four seventy for the three, so two twenty, two twenty. Um, I think like thirty here. Can you do five hundred dollars? I'll probably be stuck at the 470, honestly. We, we haven't really been taking Yeezys. Um, Yeezys kind of been slow movers for us. You see me for 80. 480, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, how do we usually pay you? Um, you can do a Zill, right? Like Zell? Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. This stuff, what were you uh, I, I gave AJ a list. Okay. That was a uh, 230 on hyperspace because those are bricks. Okay, <laughs> 230. Um, 250 on a bread or infrared, uh -huh. and 260 for turtle and blue tent, uh -huh. and 180 for the runner. Okay, cool. And then this, a, and then that I wanted a G, but you check that out first. I bet, let's see, the D and hyperspace are hard bricks. Yeah, because they came out both on the app and the, uh, the website. It was double released. I feel like everything else sounds good. This is like a tricky one. Mm -hmm. and then, let's see. The colors ugly. And then these, these are like different sizes. Go for like three. This one's like a little bit less, like 270, 280. Mm -hmm. And this one, my like last one was 271. Easy, so I came up to 1130 for all the Yeezys. Is that, is that the same numbers or not? Nah, it's different numbers. I dropped, I came down some stuff, like I came down is here. Is that with this or not? This is in it, this That's is in it. it. So this was at like, um, I think I dropped this to like 70. Mm -hmm. There are rats, I was like 160. The hyperspace, honestly I was low on those, I was at two. Payout's 175, so mm -hmm. I was at two, so at least like make something. Mm -hmm. These, I was at, I think you said 250, I think I was at like 230. We'll probably take, take the, the hypers out because I can just return them things. Oh, I bet. I'd rather get full bread than lose bread. <laughs> oh, yeah, if you can get your money back, yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, I got it from my dealers, yeah. So 930 will be then Okay. for everything. And that was what on the breads and turtles? Uh, Turtles, you said. 260. 260. I think I came down to the turtles for like 240, 230, something like that. That's box, man. That is? I really didn't even know that was box. All these are 230 bucks. Just because it's like they're going for three and like easy to be kind of passing on. Right. So like, we're going to sell them at bottom dollar, which would be like, they're going for three. Right, right, right. These are going for like 280 to three-ish. Mm -hmm. that's, that's why I went down a little bit. So like, we'll at least have like a little margin to make something mm -hmm. if it sells for like 270, 280. Um, blue tents, I was a little bit less too. So I forgot what you said on blue tents. 260 on the blue tents, I was a little bit less. But it came up to 9.30 for all that. So. He didn't give you a price on the off-whites last time, right? Nah, we were talking about because I wanted 15. And I'm looking at him when I was about to come here. I was like, dude, I didn't even clean them. <laughs> I was like, dude, I said the lowest I'd probably do is a G. But, because I don't, I don't wear them anymore. So you said he'll do a 1,000. Or, oh, he's going to take them? He'll take the 1,000, so it should be like 19.30. Let me just double back. Yeah, what dude, do it out the hype. I think you might have now it was 11.30 with the hypers, but let me just redo my numbers real fast just to make sure. Yeah, basically it was 9.30. I think I think I was at 160 here. Mm -hmm. That's where, because when I calculated, I put this in at 2.30, mm -hmm. came up to 9.30. So I think I was 10 higher when I just put my numbers in, but 9.30, yeah, for the five, and then the 1,000, 19.30. And it said he'll text you um, the best way. Uh, yeah, 19.30? Mm-hmm. That's fine. 
That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Alrighty. Just had a, a really good buy. Shout out to Giuseppe. Really good guy. Long time customer, supporter. So really appreciate him. Always gives us good deals. I'll start off here. We got some suit slides in a size 10. Lightly, lightly used. Probably the second best shoe here. Got some turtle doves in a size five and a half. You no, know, it's crazy to think how much they're going for now after they restock. You know, I feel like if this was COVID or if this was during COVID, the shoe wouldn't be at like 300. It would probably be at like a solid like six. Good size though. I feel like a female is definitely going to want these. Definitely a sneaker like I would only get if I paid retail. And I would just trash this sneaker. It's like a perfect sneaker to trash to me. But again, turtle doves, five and a half. Anyone out there who's a five and a half. Hopefully by the time this video drops, we'll still have it. We got the our rat foam runner this is the original foam runner that dropped so this is a restock of it it's crazy to see that this is also only going for 200 dollars or like 225 something like that so i'm thinking about buying these but to spend 200 plus for a foam runner to me is low-key insane i have a blue tint not much to say there this is the one i kind of want to see is the red stripe or the core red i passed on a couple pairs people called and i kind of been thinking about it. it's like damn i low-key want to at least get like one or two pairs to have in store just because i see how the the oreo does and the and the dazzling it's a color where i feel like we should at least have one or two pairs in i think we can move it for uh, the 300 that's going for so really nice shoe if i was into yeezys i would definitely cop these but you know they're a couple years too late Probably the biggest shoe here, the off-white ones, uh, the UNCs. I already relaced this one, I took the knot out, I gotta relace this one, but comes with everything. Comes with the orange and blue laces, no zip ties though. Oh, actually I lied, zip ties right here. But if you are wearing an off-white, any off-white, and it comes with a zip tie, do not wear them with the zip tie, please. I just personally hate that, it's a pet peeve. And someone's about to walk in. Oh, that's like 5.50. Per? Yeah, okay. And I got a couple more. Three more in the car. All 13? Uh, yeah, 13 and one, I think 114. Hmm. I'll be at 21 for all five. So it's four, four piece for the size 13, then I'll be at five for the size 14. So, um, but let me go back to the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take, take your time. Right. Dude, those lots are actually like so hard to move, especially now. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, so so we got we got like wow. a bunch of this, like we've been I holding on to them. And then, you know, when he died, and everything, of course, they didn't shut up. Yeah. Yeah. And, but now, like, you know, it's a lot of Yeah, that's one of those situations. Are you selling trading? What's that? What does that mean? What's that? What does that mean? You said no Jordan for this shit, so what does that mean? <laughs> is that Keyshawn Johnson? Can no, this is me. Miles Austin? This is me. Uh, <laughs> Austin. <laughs> How much you say, Jordan? <laughs> this is, this 170? Is, this is our 185 right there. Look, you see it? You selling? No, I ain't selling this. <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> money item. <laughs> so you said 450 plus those? Mm -hmm. So what's that really like? 550, right? Pretty much. I just, it's just coming back home. Oh, someone just hit me up asking for these, I think. Does that make sense? <laughs> it always makes sense, right? I'm not going to these. I know it's kind of a little bit tricky. It's a little tricky. How about um, four in those? Uh, yeah. What's, what's the item That's good. Uh, Alright, let's do that. Out. What's the best way? PayPal's cool. Gotcha. It's 6.34. We are winding down. Today was better than yesterday just because we had a bunch of people coming in. Bought a lot of stuff. We also sold some really good stuff. We sold a Black Cat 4 brand new, a Fire Red 4 brand new, and a um, University Blue. Um, brand new so shout out to that lady who came and bought those we really appreciate you we appreciate everyone who shops with us and does business with us got some hockey jerseys going up some Mets stuff some Yankee stuff then a couple of other assortment of jerseys but overall today was a good day like I said got a lot of work done got a video drop in was today Wednesday tomorrow and possibly Friday A said it earlier we have a bunch of shirts now so if you guys want one please call the store DM us purchase on eBay we have extra small or small to um, 6XL you know so we have an assortment besides it so give us a call anything you guys want to say we got five off whites today we did get five off white fives technically six oh yeah six technically six because we got four size 13s and a sale off white fives size 14 and off white five sales and then we got a size nine and a half off white one also got in what else did we get in today some yeezys solar reds some errat foam runners some azels so stuff like that we got a couple stuff in oh five and a half turtle dove so anyone out there any women out there who's looking for 
a five and a half. Check the eBay. Probably won't have the best price around. So I think that's about it. Today's burn was one and done. So just a quick second. One and done. Catch y'all tomorrow. Hope y'all have a great day. Peace. Ooh! I finally made it. <laughs> YouTube, what is up? I'm here. It is Thursday. Might not see me much today, but I'm here to talk about some of the orders. Let's just take a look at them real quick. Shout out to everyone who shopped with us. Obviously, we got t-shirts and beanies in stock, so they have been selling. I need to shout out some of the people who made some of these orders. First off, I have to shout out Avery from Kansas on the Court Purple 13 DM. He specifically said, let the YouTube world know that Avery from Kansas is not a pump faker. Let's get some clapping going on for Avery, because again, he probably knows there are a lot of people who DM us and pump fake, etc. So shouts to you, man. We definitely appreciate your business and for not pump faking in the DM. Next up, we have to shout out Mike from Vermont. Mike ordered a beanie, greatly appreciate it. Obviously Vermont probably gets cold over there, so beanies are warm, so shouts to you, Mike. Next up, I wanna shout out Nico from New York. He ordered a t-shirt and a beanie. You're the man, Nico. Thank you for the support. Last but not least, I need to shout out Reggie Rich is his name. And obviously, if you look at Reggie Rich spelled out, first thing I thought of was Richie Rich, of course. But shouts to Reggie Rich for ordering the Travis Scott he actually wants us all to sign the box. Honestly, Reggie, I don't know if we can sign the box because like eBay might not like that. Maybe we'll sign the inside of the box. Maybe we'll put stickers in there with signatures. Crazy to think that someone would want us to sign a box, but shouts to Reggie Rich for that purchase because obviously we appreciate it. Let's also look here at just some orders. Obviously, we got the Toro 14, or at least that's what I call them. I think they're technically called the Gym Reds. That's a brand new size 12. We have the Obsidians, brand new size 6Y. Those sold for 500 shipped. Happy about that sale. This is one that just came in and uh, I really wanted to keep them honestly but I just have way too many sneakers and these had to go they're in really really good condition so whoever purchased these definitely got a great deal court purple 13s I talked about these before I really like that shoe a shoe I really don't like is this bronze 5 I really don't know what the heck Jordan brand was thinking when they put those out they're pretty disgusting and yeah anything for the people guys about the orders the Travis because I told you to take the 120 and you said no just leave it up there because someone will pay full price and Reggie paid the full price so that one sticks out the anthracite because you said you was going to keep those or possibly think about keeping those those just came in on saturday so i think that's it honestly a couple small sizes the the size seven that's the olive yeah, that was a good one yeah. size six obsidian and uh i call them the metallic purple so three really good shoes they're really small sizes going out so i'll just say the obsidians just because i have horror stories for that shoe because i got a fake back in the day on those probably the only sneaker that i got that was fake like back in the day i'll say those those are kind of cool i guess yeah so not many orders today we do have a little special segment for you guys tomorrow that's a part of this episode so hopefully you guys enjoy that we did book a room in washington dc so berwin can't make it but uh me jordan and evan hopefully will be able to make it down to dc for senior con it should be a good trip obviously looking for some good stuff and you know hopefully it'll be a good time anyways thanks to everyone for all the support let's see what happens today no boxes for all because okay. i got my clear case What were you asking for these five? Um, 140 and 60. For everything? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's see. 24. Make it 130. That's cool. Uh, what's the best way for you? Uh, you got, um, which one? So? Let's see if we can sell you. It might be club, actually. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, a hundred, one twenty, and thirty. There you go, bro. Appreciate you, man. Enjoy your day. Right. To that dude. Um, first buy today. Oh, hold up. Top shelf. Hello. Yeah. So I was um, calling about saying about selling, selling a pair of my sneakers. What shoes do you have? The um, Louis Vuitton Air Force One. Oh uh, yeah, we'll probably pass on those. Okay. All right, shout out to that dude. Um, gets a really good deal. First deal of the day. Usually when we get stuff like this, people usually ask for a lot, but he was very fair with his pricing. He understands that, you know, all this stuff. I want to sell for like 60, 60, around that. Same thing for these. These two, but especially this one, is really hard to move. No, not bad. You start the day. If this is a sign of how today's going to be, then today's going to be a really good day because okay, that's some, some decent stuff for some really good prices. So got to clean them a little bit, a little wipe down, get them up on the eBay so one of you lucky buyers can buy them. Say, uh, sneaker stores in the mall be like this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. First store came to mind, shit in Jersey Garden. Oh, bruh. They mm. tweaking. Yeezys for my kid, they talking like 300 for slides. It's ridiculous. I'm like, yo, 
That's wild. I don't know what y'all think this is or who gave me all that. But what you looking for for this stuff? Um, just trying to see. And you're just looking to get cash out today? Uh, yeah, possibly, possibly a trade in if it's anything like my daughter's size. What size is that? She AC. Might have like slides or foam on it. Maybe a slide, right? Maybe. Like some something easy. Yeah. Might be something easy related. Easy. We might have. What would you ask for this stuff? Um, five fifty six. Ah, good. Let me see where everything is at. How much you say you want for everything? Um, five fifty six. I was at four seventy five for everything. Um, And then he's looking right now for some um, some easies in that side. I think we have like one, maybe two things. AC. Like somewhere around, I'm not sure what size, but somewhere around that. Let me see online. These brand new? Mm-hmm. I think we just got those yesterday. You know where I might come back for this. Oh, yeah, that's cool. They usually Apple pays you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. What are you looking for for these? This one, I'm looking 90. If for this one, I'm looking 165. 165 each? Yeah, it's each. I'll do 675 for everything. That's why I took them all. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, how we pay you last time? Uh, cash, you have cash? Yeah, Venmo, Zelle, PayPal, Apple Pay, any one of those. I mean, you have cash like a... Like, like cash, cash? Yeah. Nah, my boss is not here right now. Right. I got the number. I'll tell you guys, uh... Yeah, Zelle? Yeah. Okay. Let's see more products, man. You might be trying to jit me and shit. None of that. All those marks. War wounds. Oh my god, here we go. No hang tag. Missing merchandise. Come on, man. Come on, man. I don't, okay. I don't need to steal a hang tag. Street hawkers. Mm -hmm. I really want to get those up. Getting rid of these for that? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I already got, I got what the P rods. I don't want too many of these mismatch shit. That's a flex, man. What? That's a calling flex. What? What happened? You said you got, you got P-Rods, you got this, you got that. That's a calling flex. What are you doing with these? That's the real question. And those are supposed to be like kick arounds when you I want You said these are brand new. Nah, I didn't. You did. I swear to God, you said, I did? Brand, you said brand new. Oh, well, I, I, I said these was brand new for sure. That wouldn't even be fair anyway. A new pair of mochas and these for these? Yeah. Nah, these not yeah. new. So? Way more than those two. What are you trying to propose then? What's your I offer? mean, that's an even trade right there, though. Look, look how new they is. This, this is cool. Three fifty. Wipe the bottle. What are you pricing the street harvest at? Five. Trade well, trade value five. That's what you're smoking. This is going on stock as a five hundred dollar shoe. They even swap. Not even these five. not going in here. If these two can just complete it. I don't think these two is gonna complete. If you have five here and like two here, it... that's seven. Yeah, that's five here. Y'all gonna make over on these? Then you gonna sell this for four fifty and that three hundred? That's losing fifty. How? You, you just said. For, look, you, you just said you want five, and you said we gonna sell for four fifty. That's losing. I'm 50. talking about on trade value. This is the store. Right, so this what's, is this is this is for the store. This is the store. This is not understood. me talking. This is this top is shelf store. talking. This is okay. This is top shelf saying. talking. You said seven on this. Yeah. What what would you was gonna price it at if you sell it? I didn't even put up online or nothing yet. I know you want it. I know you've been if wanting it. You would have put it up, what it would have been at? Online? Yeah. I'd probably put it up online for eight and just listen to offers. Realistically. You would have set it out for seven. Yeah. Okay. Or anything higher than seven. Alright, so what what are we gonna do then? I'm definitely not putting these two up and then paying like two hundred. That's that's risky. What would y'all do in these though? Just curious. This is brand new. What size? Seven. If you did cash just for the street hawkers, what you, how much cash do you think I'll put on top? I don't know. I gotta, I gotta hear what you're doing on the street hawkers. That's still value. You tell me what you want. Cause you said five, which is criminal. You know that's criminal. <laughs> you know damn well that's criminal. Oh 
why? This is the first time that you ever came here and said some criminal said shit some like criminal that. Shit. I like, just said it because it was trade value. I'm, I'm, keep it real. If you would have said like, I don't say no nuts. If shit. you would have said like four twenty five, I'm like that's criminal still. But that's way more realistic. It's trading. Come on, breezy. You feel me? It's that birthday energy you got you acting up. That's what it is. Yeah, man. So that's why you should be showing birthday love. VIP customer. What you want for the far house? Cause them shit's low. They low. I already know what you're talking. So don't worry about it. They two twenty five or. Yeah, I know. It's only like 225, 250. So trade value, you probably gonna say 170. Yeah. <laughs> that's more realistic. Yeah. See, that that's you coming correct. See, that's so, that's so that's pre-birthday energy right there. I'll use it. Yes, six for the stuff. For those two, I'll use it. Yes, six. What's the breakdown? Four and two. I already cut it. You go to four and two. You go 350, 250, where I was originally at. Um, I already cut it. Cameraman, what you think, man? No, I really like the unions. <laughs> you don't want to know my opinion. I know your opinion. Listen, get rid of them shit. Trash, trash. Why do you Especially trash? for someone like you. Why? Why? For what you have and what you usually wear, especially this shoe should not be in your damn collection. Why, though? I want to know why this shoe can't all, be in your All the shoes you have, that shoe should not be in your damn collection. It's a play around shoe. I mean, you need to set. You got to get the set off at least one time. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. I don't need the set. Mr. Mr. I got I'm on ones, twos, threes. You got to get the set off one time. What you think, E-Bands? What's up? These two for these? You think you think that's fair enough? Well, I only like one of those shoes, so honestly, yeah. Damn. Wait, which, which one do you like? The Mocha. You only like the mochas? My man. Not really. My man. <laughs> really wow. Not really My man. We've been, been, we've been here lately. I nah, know. sometimes. We're we not here right now, I Evan. I don't know, know what's going on with you today. Man, I don't. They're cool, but. Yeah, this. Uh, I don't like the white side. I like this side more. My man. What's up? Okay. I said these two for, that, for those. Okay. But this not DS. Though. Not DS. Okay. And a DMC said no. No, I and didn't. A DM, you didn't I say said <laughs> DS Street Hawker <laughs> and Mocha Ones. So you put you put new with that. You did that. Mm -hmm. You did that. No, y'all throwing me in here, man. I was no, he's, I'm throwing the you. Deal in here. <laughs> the deal is done. The deal is done. The deal is done. I don't it know what done. he's talking about. The deal is done. I just need a. I need a. That's not right, though. How it's not, not right? right. Cause these two should just it should just be even swap. Nah, you're wrong. I'm just saying. Or I should be putting in like an extra fifty. That's what you were at, a hundred. On top, yeah. Oh, this guy. So, yeah. so y'all not too too. It was it was we six. Are, we far off. It was off. six for the two. A hundred plus a plus a hundred. Look, you like the bottom. This is a cool three twenty five, three fifty. That's manual labor right there. You yeah. give me a wipe. I, <laughs> I stay here doing it. You should have brought a wipe. <laughs> what you got in your hand? A hundred. It's a hundred. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I don't know, it's done. Nah, still undecided. Oh, okay, okay. It was you want to be at 50, we're at 100. <laughs> Not even 50. He had 100, because you wasn't here. I was going to call you, I was going to say FaceTime, and say you got his number, but. <laughs> and you walked right work. in, look look how God works. <laughs> man, God at work, can't interrupt God work, I was brand new. All right, man, you said 70? 70. That don't sound too crazy. We got $30, we'll get you on the next one. 75? <laughs> I, was gonna, I was gonna make you flip for it, but it's all right. We won't, we won't, we won't do all that. Yeah, word. See? Birthday next week. You can show no yeah. B day love. Yeah. See you, yo. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. You're using the deep that's why, that's why I keep shopping here, man. Exactly, you know? Gotta keep the customer we're happy. All about, we're all about. <laughs> You're not a customer, yo. <laughs> customer appreciation, man. You're not a customer, yo. I tell you this all the time. I am. You're some regular, bro. You go in the comments thoughts. and say I'm a customer, all right? That's what y'all do. So yeah. Breezy is a customer. Cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cut that out. Keep that. Keep all that shit in there. We we like oh. raw, raw footage here. Pause. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> y'all got it. Y'all, oh, everything sure. can't oh. be paused. You right. I agree. I agree. A lot of everything. You want right, but you said everything. You said right? leave it in there raw. Oh though. my god. Leave it in. Wow. What's, I'm talking about footage. Ah, uh, see that that's that's the point. We gotta be dragging it right there. Get my shoe, man. man. You don't need a bag. You don't get a bag. I don't get a bag. Wow. You got a bag right there. So what? What if I Hold wanted up. a brown bag? Short set the bottom. Okay. 
What are you looking for for these? Uh, 140. Okay. And how much for the shorts? Um, I ain't sure if I won't even sell these. I'll let... Which ones you're not sure about? All of them or just that just one? Just these. You could take these two. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to keep these. Yeah, that was fire. How much are you asking for for the shorts? For the Golden State ones, 60. For the Bulls one, it has... I'm not sure if this is... A, I think this will come out. This is nothing. 60 for both. Okay. For both of them together? 60 for both. Okay. Like 60 each. Oh, okay, 60 each. Yeah. You said 140 for these? Yep. Um, I'll probably be at 120 for them. The most I could do is 140, bro. That's the most? Not even 130? 135, man. So the shorts he said he'll pass, um, but we can do the 135. Alright, will he take this as a credit? Or uh, ask him if we do it for a credit. Uh, for what? Which for the shorts. No, no, I'm saying like we're trying to get. Let me get them Air Max 95s, the neon green ones. Alrighty, so for these, you said he'll do 225. He said if he took the shorts, he'll probably be at 50 for both. 50 for both? Mm -hmm. Let me think about that. We could do this one now. Okay, that's cool. What's this one? Yeah, um, I do cash out. Uh, that's the only thing you have? You don't have anything else? And I got Venmo. Uh, Venmo's cool. Can I see your Venmo cool? Oh, man, you just give me a price right now. I'm going through some bullshit, so I need to get rid of a lot of shit. Man, man it's crazy. I see I, I, I found out about this on YouTube. I've been watching them for a minute. Oh, appreciate it, man. Where you from? I'm, me, I'm from the Bronx. Oh. I'm gonna say, I, live out here in Jer I live out here in Jersey by like Hackensack. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. I told my wife recently. I said, well, we gotta go over there to the, uh, to the, um. Oh, the Meadowlands? Yeah, Meadowlands. Yeah, I see him there a lot. He be picking up a lot of, a lot of, all right, shit over there. Yeah, all this, that's what he loves, jerseys. Yeah, this is all the stuff that we had that wasn't up online that we're trying to get up right now. All right. Then we got yeah, like every time he goes over there, he looks for the jerseys. They all know him. All the jersey sellers, mm -hmm. all them dudes know him. So, like, we got a bunch more, too, like, online and, you know, in the warehouse. Like, we got a bunch of basketball over here, um, a mixture of hockey, baseball, and football over there. But the selection, over there, the selection looks small, but online, we have, like, just, like, a ton of stuff. Yeah, I see honestly. he got, like, a, what, an award on, on eBay or something like that? Um, uh, like something like that. Yeah, like, yeah, like, like top seller and stuff like uh, that. So, uh, and then you said you had nothing in mind for this stuff? Yeah, whatever I'm saying, you feel like <clears throat> you just throw me a price to see. This one I'll definitely pass on. They're just way too smoke for us. All right, cool. Yeah, that, yeah, I do. As if I just told you in the car, I said these shits are cooked. These shits are pretty cooked too, but just depending on where you want from, it's, it's kind of rough. They're, they're pretty low in the market right now. What would you offer for them? If I took these four, I'd probably be at like 454. That's cool. Four. That's cool. That's cool. Um, what's the best way for you? Uh, you have cash? No cash. Have you have Venmo's, cash app? No cash app. Uh, Venmo, Zelle, PayPal, Apple Pay. You got Zelle? Can you sell it to him? Uh, yeah, I got you. Alrighty. Um, today's been like a little bit crazy just with like the buying and stuff like that. Just a lot of stuff. Looking at this stuff, this stuff is chopped, especially like these two. But again, it's off white. Someone will pay 250 for these. So, kind of like my thought process on that. We got some Dazzling, no box. We got some Flu Games, no box. And some Hyper Pearls, no box. Honestly, I'm probably going to take these two to the back and just give them a clean rat of wipe. So, Flu Games are kind of intact still. Light separation. But one man's trash is another man's treasure. So we're gonna get this stuff up soon. A lot of jerseys going up. A lot of stuff in general is going up. I said it multiple times already. If you are a Mets, Yankees fan, there's mostly Mets and Yankee fans, especially in the area. We got a lot of jerseys going up. Some Pedro Martinez, Jeter, Syndergaard. We gotta, we gotta. I think his name's Degrom or Legrom. I don't know where it's at, but I know we have one, so I'm trying to get that up. Any one of those, you know, famous guys, those Hall of Famers, we have their jerseys, so be on the lookout for that. If that's what you're looking for, because you know baseball is hot right now. The season's hot right now, so I think that's about it. He's been doing a lot of moving with his house, so that's why you haven't really seen him today. He's been in and out of the store. He was just in the store. I don't know if you guys called him, but he dropped off some hyper rolls that we're probably gonna put up on eBay in a second. Probably one of his old personal pairs, or just a pair he found cleaning his house. So yeah, it's about three ten. So let's see what these next three hours and 15 minutes hold. You can ask them. These are a little bit hard for us to move just because they're a little bit older. Uh -huh. um, usually the 2019 is the one that people usually prefer. They just want them. Yeah, just because the high patent leather stuff yeah. like that. These are the 04. Okay. Where are you asking for these? I'm trying to find a number for those because they're, they're, I don't, you don't see them anywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, 
And they're, they're in good shape, but I don't know. I mean, I'm willing to go shape. No price in mind that you're thinking. I mean, I'm seeing like, well, most of them seem the new 6 would be. For you, yeah. I'm seeing like 354. Well, I'm seeing like 140, 150 used, no box. On the box. Mm hmm. Now, if you check gold and you check eBay, there's no box. If I took these, I'll probably be around like 60. 60 for them. Yeah. And these, let's see what these are heading for. I haven't really looked at Mark in a while. From what I'm seeing online, I'd probably be at 100 for these. 100 you said? Yeah, just this pairs online. It's in very similar condition for like 170, 180. Uh -huh. And a lot of times people use you guys towards the 2019 pair. More so than the 20. Uh, uh, yeah, that's, I want to. I, I have storage. I want to see if they were Yeah. yeah. Hey guys, I'm slumped and moving stuff all day, but I got a lot done, so that's great. Jordan's going to wrap it up. Did we talk about your hair yet? No. Elephant in the room. <laughs> What's up? I did my hair. Deal with it. <laughs> nice. I just was making sure we, I mean, someone established that. <laughs> I wasn't that busy today. I mean, that's something to get, you know, get the phone going. Guys, what's up? Nah, it it looked like it was a little crazy earlier. Yeah. There's people selling. Everyone's selling now, guys. Everyone's selling. We are buying, but again, guys, like, you're not the only one who's worried about the market. You're not the only one who's looking to get cashed out for your stuff. Like, you know, we are too. So it's a slippery slope. But obviously, lately, we have seen the turnaround. And it's a lot of people coming in with a lot of stuff they've been holding on to for a long time because they thought they would go to the moon. A lot of stuff isn't going to the moon right now. So obviously, we are buying. If you guys are calling or DMing, honestly, the, the best way if you really want to sell your stuff is just walk in. If you really want an answer and an offer and all that. That stuff just walk in with your items we'll happily take a look we'll make you offers in person when it comes to calling and asking prices on every single item we really have to stop doing that because at the end of the day guys we don't want to be liable for a sneaker when you guys pull up like four days after we told you we pay you a certain amount and then four days later the shoe got restocked twice and then it goes down in price and then you're in here bothering us about 300 even though they're going for 225 like things do happen the market does shift so just keep that in mind so the best way to get an offer is just pull up we're here Tuesday through Saturday usually you can call ahead to make sure we're here to make sure we have cash if you need it to make sure we have Zelle or Venmo or whatever way you need to get paid out but when it comes to calling the store and asking us you know I just got every Yeezy from Yeezy day like how much for every single one this that, and the third like it's really hard to go through that because again you'd be surprised what people tell us on the phone and then show up with so just because of that we, we have to be very careful when it comes to those phone calls because we don't want anyone wasting their time we don't want to waste our time right so that's that Jordan take it away we've been watching a lot of literally this week that's all we've been can watching we, can you I don't literally. You can't. Literally, be hilarious. It's probably like the most pure league yeah. in the world. Uh, <laughs> like, like you don't ever see one bad thing going on lowly. Like you see a sportsmanship. You don't see no one talking smack. Yeah, it's got the stroke pause. Real shit. Nah, but they, they were saying how like the kids nowadays. They're like, fans, bro. They're throwing like seventy, yeah, mid seventy. Nah, like, you can just tell by like the swings. The swings, like I, I've even seen these swings. They, they're ridiculous. And and like you said, the pitching is crazy. Too. Like these kids, man. We watched Kentucky versus Indiana. That game was just like so intense. It was so crazy. Like that's all we've been watching. Literally, DC next weekend. We will be there. We will be in the building. Wait, next weekend? No, no, two weeks, right? No, that's next weekend. Oh, not this weekend, as in two. Not man. this week. Like next weekend. Like next. oh man, it's flying by. Time's flying by. We fixed the slat wall, so it's not empty, and we fixed the um the case. Like that top row is majority eleven and a half. So if you guys are looking for eleven and a half and any ones, we got a brand new shot of backboard. We got a black and white used and a new one. Brett toes eleven and a half. That black toes eleven and a half. It's probably Chicago, not here, but eleven and a half. The use UNC 11 and a half so a lot of stuff in there I didn't know he brought those in to do the right things those caught me by surprise those are crazy yeah but I mean it's just like they will last so those things are beautiful but I don't know I won't wear them one thing you'll realize moving guys is you don't need all these sneakers like I've moved so many sneakers in the past three days I low-key don't even want sneakers I wish my life was so simplistic and I had like a gray pair a black pair and a white pair and a red pair and a blue pair and maybe a green pair 
Yeah. Like 10 pairs. <laughs> like 20, 20, 20 tops. That would be really cool. But obviously, you guys out there probably know collectors or just like sneaker fiends. Like, you know, it's very hard to, to dwindle your collection down. Now that I've moved all my stuff out of my apartment, I'm ready to really start bringing in stuff that I don't need. Like, I, I, I brought in a Royal Toe one today. I was like, I'm like, what am I thinking? You know, like, how could you wear a Royal Toe over a Black Toe or a Royal? But yeah, like, like Jordan said, I'm um, definitely packed up with stuff. Definitely packed up in the case as well. And we're also gearing up for fantasy football. There are two more live spots left. One guy, we're gonna look here to see. Maybe we'll give him that one spot, and then we have another live spot. And then I don't know when this video will come out, but if it does come out, I'm trying to do an online league for you guys. One guy even said he'd fly out here to be in a live league, and as much as I appreciate that, hopefully we can get an online league together. That way we can get a lot of you YouTube supporters out there to enter. The entry will be $100, because as much as I've done $50 leagues and stuff like that, $100 just makes it fun and enticing and, and interesting, and just like people care when it comes to $100, relative to 20 or 50 bucks. So if you're watching this video and you wanna join an online league, you got your money right, hit us up, $100 entry. Hopefully we'll get it online. Yahoo Fantasy Sports, we'll set it all up, orchestrate the whole thing, obviously, and then um, hopefully we can get an online league together that way. Some of you guys can enter if you're not local. For everyone who is local in the live league, be ready. My team shot the bed last year, and that's okay, because again, I'm in like three, four leagues every year. Obviously, not every league is gonna be great. Jordan had a good year last year, but his team shot the bed going into the playoffs or in the playoffs so again it don't matter you know what i mean but i'll admit my team sucked this year though we're gonna have food we might even have some glizzies up in here you know ketchup mustard you know all that <laughs> and i'm winning this year <laughs> all right and berwin's entering this year berwin and evan are gonna right berwin yeah so, okay I'm, I'm so evan and berwin are gonna split a team this year that's a little bit of collusion but it's okay because you know they don't really know much so i think if they combine their minds together they can create a great team so it's gonna be fun i finished in third last year second loser i mean the person i lost to won it all and his team was just like stat he was putting up crazy enough it was like crazy. i didn't like i lost unbeatable i was so comfortable with the loss because like the margin of victory was crazy and the margin of victory that he won in the championship was even crazier so i'm cool off that you know top three you know just that was light that was a light year top three isn't bad i'm not gonna lie i didn't remember that but top three top, top three is calm nothing crazy it's third calm. doesn't get paid in our leagues though guys you're right you're right <laughs> No, I'm going for that first spot this year. That's all that matters. So, you know, in February, when you guys see me here, going for like an off-white Travis, you know, just now, it's going to be thanks to the other 11 guys who gave me their money. So, oh, actually, yeah, you three yeah. will be, you know, giving me a donation. So, the Jordan Charity. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is going to be a crazy clip if I really lose. If I get smoked, this is gonna be a bad clip. So. Yeah, we can't let you forget. Well, I mean, same with me. I mean, I, I talked my spiel just now, so if my team sucks, I'm, I'm, and honestly, my team might suck because this, out of all years, this is the one year I have too much shit going on to even think about football. That doesn't mean anything now, because once I draft, I'm gonna care so much. I'm gonna be on it every single day. And Berwin and Jordan and Evan will be like, yo, hey, what are you doing? It's like, bro, I'm locked in right now. I'm looking at my, my picks and shit, my lineups. So busy, he's not even focused. I like that. It's but you know, we're doing it for the people, man. You know, I hate commissioning leagues. If you're out there and you're a commissioner, it sucks. It's so annoying to commission a league. Unless like everyone pays right on time that day, which usually for the store league, that happens. Cause thankfully this year, a lot of guys have been hitting us up saying, hey, I'm ready, I'm in, I'll pay, whatever. So that's good. But you know, if you guys have your leagues with your friends from high school or middle school or college, you know, they're tough to commission. You know, guys are over here, over there. Everyone's all over the place, but it makes things fun. Obviously we're, we're excited for football season on this side. If you can't tell. Hot take, I feel like they're going to finish like top four top five obviously it I, always happens people it, who don't know anything always do well i it, think it's the it's the guys who are like last minute hesitant yeah just don't always. care it's always those guys so i feel like they're going to be like top and that's what gets me so mad because me and jordan will sit there <laughs> and analyze every little thing and pick up the guys who just got injured backups and triple strings and all that stuff just to coordinate everything and then the guys who don't do anything win that's why it's fancy so off that you know one of the what'd you shoot from last week i went today uh, this week this Right there. Uh, yeah, maybe over there. I don't remember. I'm shot right here. I'll go over here. You made it the last bit. Actually, I'm go here because Burma made it yesterday, so it's a little pressure. That was a little close over there. I'm gonna go. What, over here? Oh, okay. yeah, over there. But, mm, yeah. That's something you would say. That's all. <laughs> oh, oh my god. That was so close, but close doesn't get it done. Have you got the next week?
YouTube, what is up? We are here. It's Friday. We're filming today. Don't really have too much footage. It is also Bucket's birthday today. He's not here right now. He will be here shortly. And hopefully we're going to go a quick little rundown on how I got Buckets, why Buckets is such an intricate part of Top Shelf Kicks, how if I didn't get Buckets, there might not be a Top Shelf Kicks today. And uh, all that is honest truth. So we're going to like, you know, go back in time a little bit, talk about that story. But other than that, we got some awesome sales and I definitely have to talk about a few of them. And you know what's hilarious? There's two shoes that are next to each other that were mine worn by me and it's funny that you guys put them next to each other because I was going to talk about them and they're next to each other. So these two right here the LeBron Volts, I think I've spoken about these. They released on my birthday back in the day, the same day as the Crimson 3s. I got a pair of these Eric Bledsoe wore them in the dunk contest before they came out. They looked crazy on television it's a really cool shoe but uh, again because I'm moving and stuff like that I've been trying to just get as much money as I can from stuff. Speaking of that, this one right here man uh, the Flyknit Free 5.0 I think that's exactly what they're called. Retail on the sneaker was like 160 back in the day. I recently saw something on like Soul Collector about how this was like a terrible shoe and how it was just like blah blah blah. The 160 retail was terrible, but me and my boy Justin, shouts to uh, Justin NJ Hoop Recruit, we were in I think Atlantic City one day. We went to the outlet and there were just tons of these for like 40 or 30 dollars. We thought we were like Pablo Escobar, bro. We were buying them up, we were selling them on eBay. We were just happy to have them. It's obviously a peculiar shoe. This is how it looks like even out of the box. They were worn by me. Have some memories in these. Sold them for like. Like $50 ship, so shouts to whoever ordered those. Enough about that. Let's see what else is sold. Obviously, we got this Yeezy line. Again, because of this Yeezy day, Yeezy restock, everyone thinks Yeezys are just like, you know, quick flips. A lot of these Yeezys aren't quick flips. We're obviously trying to get rid of Yeezys. We do say they don't sell well for us. The thing is, they don't sell well for us at the price that you guys think. We usually sell our Yeezys way less, or not way less, but less than the market, kind of. So when people come in expecting us to be selling these Belugas for like $350, in reality, we're really selling them for like 280 300 after fees and stuff like that so we can't pay these high prices for them got a polo bubble vest that was a nice find if you guys watched the flea market video i really like that piece it's just a little too small for me we got the zach thomas miami dolphin jersey again guys fantasy season football season is in full effect i did not watch the games yesterday because i uh don't even have that channel right now tyrod taylor played right in the giants one which is interesting. I honestly didn't even remember Tyrod Taylor was on the Giants, so that's cool. I need to shout out John. John from Canada, I believe. He literally hit us up and said, hey, uh, what's the exchange rate or what's the import fees for these? I'm really interested. And I said, honestly, I'm not really 100% sure because we do eBay Global Shipping Program. And uh, he said, you know, honestly, screw it. I'm just going to buy them and it is what it is. I've been waiting to support you guys and I've been waiting for this exact shoe to pop up. So I definitely appreciate it. I was thinking about keeping these, honestly. It's a size 11. These kind of ran a little big to my knowledge, but I decided not to and I'm gonna stick to the 11 and a half. Union Force, what's that dude's name? Because oh so shout out to Tim. He called yesterday he's from Detroit. He said he's just like recently started watching the YouTube. He also said that he's been looking for that shoe. He'd rather go through us than eBay and save on fees both ways and stuff like that. So shout out to him. And he says it's just like it's really hard to find like stuff like that. And he's been looking for those for a while. So shout out to Tim. Shout out to me for these are you so I think we need a new pair, right? What size is that one? Eleven. Well that's a good good catch. What else we got? UNC fours. Boom. UNC fours. Shouts to Jordan. Jordan uh, paid a little higher on these than I thought I would pay. You know, it happens. It is what it is. But, you know, we had a discussion about it and I was like, ah, like, I, you know, I would have been a little lower on those just because you don't have lace locks, no box. But if they pass as brand new, Jordan definitely made the right decision. That's the issue. I don't know. They definitely look brand new with defects. Obviously, the defect being no box, no lace lock, maybe a little bit of yellowing. We definitely listed them correctly. So hopefully, obviously, everything comes out correctly. Shout out to Mikey from Texas. He ordered a t-shirt. Shouts to everyone who's been ordering t-shirts. Obviously, we try to shout all you guys out on video but sometimes we're not filming and I, we obviously try to get this stuff out like asap but shouts to mikey mikey actually asked us to sign the shirt it's still super weird to me when people ask me hey can you guys sign the shirt or can you guys sign the box or all that stuff you know we'll definitely try our best the markers we have to sign these shirts aren't the best but you know if you guys really want us to we will we're just regular guys over here getting it done so we definitely appreciate the support just know obviously if you ever want to autograph you can always just like walk in we're, we're, we're always very available it's, it's really no big deal so Hopefully you can take the shirt, wear it, enjoy it. Obviously, that's what we want you guys to do with the shirt. There's a couple more orders to get. We're going to get those, and then we're going to see how the day goes. So I mentioned earlier, it is uh, Bucket's birthday right here, or the day that I got him from the shelter. I guess we're just going to go through a little story about Buck and, and how I got him and why I decided to get him and all that stuff. Growing up, I had a pug. His name was Rocky. You know, that was the family dog at my mom's house, and he was a great dog. Loved him so much. Obviously, when I went away to college and stuff, that was a family dog, you know, always with my mom and stuff 
like that. At the end of 2014, 2015, I finally decided to try to open up a sneaker store. With that decision, I was trying to, you know, I had influence from a lot of places that I grew up going to or wanting to go to. In one of these stores, I remember they had this little dog and I think it was like a Boston Terrier or a French Bulldog or something like that. And his name was uh, Dynamite or Dolomite. And the store was Division East. You know, if you guys grew up around here, you probably know about Division East. And sometimes they'd have Jordans on display. I remember one time in particular, they had the Olympic sevens in a glass case. And I was like, wow, 350 for those? Like, you know, maybe one day, whatever. But I just always thought it was so cool to go into a sneaker store and this dog would just chill. You know what I mean? It was just like a really chill dog. Fast forward to when I decide to open up my spot, we had a small place, 27 Roseland Avenue that, you know, Burrow would probably put up pictures of now. To put it lightly, basically, it really sucked the first year or two. It was very lonely, depressing. I was in there watching Netflix, kind of just like, hey, like, is this working? Like, why am I paying all these bills to stay open if no one's walking in, if no one seems to be about this buy sell trade life? Like, what am I doing? And one day I was watching Netflix and my mom sent me a post from Paul's in Montclair. It was this funny picture of Buck just like laying back with his tongue out, just like coasting, chilling, just looking like he's just, you know, not a care in the world. And I was like, wow, a pug at, at a pound? Like, that's crazy. Obviously, I know about pugs. You know, they're pretty expensive dogs. They're hard to find. If you want to go, like, get one from a breeder, it's going to cost you a couple thousand. So the fact that somebody found a pug and he ended up at the pound it was just, was just, like, absurd to me. When I saw that picture, I kind of thought about it and I realized how much of a responsibility a dog is and how I wasn't really, like, ready for that. But I just couldn't get it out of my head the fact that, like, hey, this could be a really chill shop dog. Like that was my main concern that he would just be a chill shop dog. I think that day or the next day, I, I literally couldn't think about leaving the dog there. I didn't even meet the dog yet, obviously, right? But I was just like, how is there a pug at the pound? I have to go at least meet this pug to see if it's like a chill pug or whatever. That night or the next day, I think the next day, I race over to Paws, literally trying to get there when it opened. I felt like I was going to a sneaker release. Everyone who I saw walking towards Paws, I was like, oh my God, they're gonna get the pug. Oh my gosh, I'm too late. I need to meet this pug, whatever. So I go and I meet this pug and he was just so chill. And mind you, he could have been a little drugged out because he just uh, had had some you know stuff done to him obviously once a dog goes to the pound you know they get fixed or what have you you know he was just so chill and I was like wow man this this dog is is so chill and they put us in this room I remember I was wearing my lightning prestos and this dog would just come up to me and just you know sit right by me he was really good on a leash and it was just like wow this dog is a great dog he might be a really good shop dog after meeting Buck I went back to the store and I sat there for a little bit and I said I can't let this dog sleep another day at the pound so obviously Obviously, like I said, the store was slow. People weren't walking in. Obviously, it's a lot different now, thanks to you guys. So shout out to everyone who shops with us, of course, and stops by the store and, and has been supporting the store since day one before YouTube everything. You guys are, are the reason we're here, right? So I can never forget to, to say that. So I closed up early and I went back and uh, I tried to do all the paperwork to get him. I'm pretty sure I either got him that night or you know they, they had to get some paperwork cleared, so I got him the next morning. I think I got him that night, honestly. At the time, I just opened the store. I think I was uh, 20 five years old I just moved out of an apartment back home with my mom you know the money was very tight for me and it was hard for me to to make that transition to an apartment and the plan was to hopefully move out sometime soon and when I got Buck that sometime soon came a lot quicker because I realized that Buck had very bad uh, separation anxiety if I wasn't around Buck would flip out Buck would scratch doors Buck would break out of cages jump over hurdles break into the garbage and my mom obviously he wasn't having it for my life I had to go out and, and do things and having this dog was so hard for me if you guys remember the days of like sneaker raffles and stuff like that where you actually had to go to the location and get a raffle ticket I'd literally bring this dog with me everywhere because leaving him home crying and just like separation anxiety it just like really hurt and it's funny because one thing someone said to me a, a while back that really stayed with me was you think you run a dog's life but a dog really runs your life right if you take care of that dog the, the right way sometimes a dog can run your life since I got Buck, that's kind of how it was. Because obviously of his issues, I had to quickly move out and find a new apartment. So I found a place in Clifton and I was living there. And uh, you know, it was tough trying to train him to make sure that he knew I was always coming home. I remember one day I thought he was good. And next thing you know, I come home, my lamp's on the ground, my PlayStation's on the 
ground. He was like scratching at my front door so much that the nail, his nails were bleeding. So like stuff like that, obviously, you know, it was tough to deal with. So I ended up having to put him in a cage when I left just to make sure that he was safe always. Thinking about like how the business grew and the, and, and the steps that I took, having Buck around, I feel like it really kind of kept me out of trouble because I was always comfortable going home after a long day, hanging out with Buck, right? Even though Buck was hanging out with me at the store the whole day, but it's just like, I'm hanging out with my dog. I feel like I saved a lot of money staying in, not traveling, not doing all these things. I mean, yes, I probably should have done these things, but just looking back to where my business was and where it is now, it's just like, I don't think it would be anywhere close without this dog. And it's crazy to say that, but that's just what I believe, especially at those times when I thought about closing. When I got Buck, I still thought about closing, but Buck was there, right? Buck was always there hanging out in the window. People walking by always want to stop in and see him. So it just kind of gave a little more like human interaction to the store, which I feel like the store really needed. Cause obviously if you open up a store and there's no humans walking in, there's no real human interaction. You can go crazy, you can get depressed, you can quit, right? And those first couple years, I definitely thought about quitting a lot of times. When you look at your bank account and you're on your last thousand and you say like, how am I gonna pay PSC and G next month? And how am I gonna pay my cable and internet? And how am I gonna pay this ADT bill and all that stuff? It was tough to me having Buck really help that situation because again, it just, it gave that interaction to the store that I, I, I felt it needed. And I saw Buck as just like a really important part of the store. I always joke about how Buck's like the manager who doesn't really work that much or the assistant manager who gets time off and stuff. It's just great. There's just so many memories of him at the old store. So many people remember him. You know, there were people who would always come just to see him or bring their kids and say, hey, is the dog here? Is Buck here? And Buck was always just the best to every kid, to every dog, to every human interaction that he had. He was just always so chill and lovely. What's crazy is someone found him on the street in Newark on Bloomfield Avenue. I'm not the most religious person you can say, but I, I, I try to believe in signs and how things happen in your life and how, how things kind of line up. Having a pug when I was a kid and then seeing a pug at, at Paul's Montclair where I grew up, going to get the dog and it, it being a chill dog that just wants human affection and interaction, you know? Like Buck's so funny because like he looks like this now and he'll chill with me all day and, and not cause any problems as long as I'm around or even the humans around. But sometimes if he feels like, you know, he's lost or or no one's gonna come back for him, he starts going crazy and getting upset. So it's sad, but having a dog that was from a shelter, it makes you experience loyalty way different than any other way, I feel like. I've had dogs in the past and they're definitely loyal, but the, the loyalty Buck shows for me and, and, and the stuff I gotta do all the time and stuff like that, and it's great. And it feels like I, you know, I made a great decision somewhat saving his life, taking him out of the shelter and giving him what I think is a great life, right? He used to come with me to work every day. He is getting older now, It's it's been seven years years we don't really know exactly how old he is so because of that he gets to stay home with wifey most of the time and chill in the AC and all that through all the times that he used to come to the store every day like he was the perfect shop dog he loved being at work he loved Ikea bags hopping in boxes chilling getting pet by kids all that stuff like he, he really enjoyed that he really always enjoys that but as he get he's getting older it's tough to you know kind of put him through that just because I feel like he'd rather just kind of chill and not be bothered sometimes as we all feel sometimes as we get older obviously I'm, I'm wearing this shirt right now it has buck on the back of it the buck jump man it's crazy to think that a dog can be such an intricate part of a business but to me he really was one i don't know i, I kind of one day just said hey like i need to uh make a buck logo and uh put it on a t-shirt and since i've done that like a lot of people have really liked the shirts ideas and, uh, and buying shirts and really ask about him all the time like i see you guys asking about him in the videos like the last video we watched everyone loved how he hopped in the ikea bag and stuff like that so yeah man he's he's definitely a great part of the business and and um, I decided today was a great time to just talk about him and, and, and the story of how I got him because it is technically his birthday, August 12th. One thing that is interesting is like, out of all people, Buck's been with me through it all. Like through the worst time, through the times where I wanted to quit, through the times where, you know, we had to move apartments to the time where I had to live in Jersey City in a crappy little room in a, in a place that wasn't so safe for me. You know, he had to live there. He had to be in those rooms with those friends who uh, had to take care of him. Watch out. You got a uh, lantern fly right there. Kill him, kill him. Oh yeah, lantern fly. Done now. Save the environment, guys. If you see a lantern fly, knock him out. Just thinking back like he's really been through it all. Every step of the way, this dog has been with me through me sitting in that store alone, through me having people come into the store, through the grand opening of the new store, through moving stuff from the old store to the new store, for raffle tickets, for me going to stores, leaving him in the car with the window open, making sure he's okay because I don't want to leave him at home. Home, taking care of customers and clients like he's there shipping stuff out when I used to ship out 30 orders 50 orders 100 orders by myself he's always there hopping in a 
box waiting for us to, you know, go for another walk or find another Ikea bag or what have you. So I felt like today was a good, good day to just kind of talk about him because I do appreciate him a lot. And as he gets older, we have to appreciate these times with our loved ones, whether it be family, dogs, cats, goldfish, especially the ones that were with you through everything. And Buck has literally been with me through everything. And it's crazy now because I'm finally moving out of an apartment and uh, into a home. I'm glad that like he's still here to experience that with me again because we've moved so many times. I've had this dog in pretty shitty situations, you know, on occasion here and there because again, running a business, as much as you want the dog to be there all the time, he really can't be. I don't know. It's just a great feeling to know that Buck is here. Such a big part of Top Shelf Kicks. Appreciated by so many of y'all out there. He appreciates everyone who stops by, pets him, has showed him love in the past. That's the other thing. Like everyone who comes by shows him so much love because he that's all he wants is to just kind of chill and uh, have a human interaction. I don't want to bore you too much, but I felt like this was necessary again because this is the real CEO right here, you know, co-founder, owner. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of like montage, I guess, of old pictures and stuff like that of growing up with Buck and, and Buck being around from the beginning, literally from the beginning. And he's here now where we're taking this business to feats that I never thought were possible. And without me going to pause that day and, and grabbing Buck and bringing him into my shop as a shop dog and him being there with me every day. Whether I have money or not, he was there right by my side, ready for the next step. And I literally think that without him, I don't know what would have happened. You know, there's a strong possibility that without him around, I, I would have decided to just, you know, go get a desk job, go wear a suit, go to the city, do, do something like that. I thank God for him because you know, he's literally my best friend. That's the other thing. I don't really have many friends that I hang out with and talk to and all that stuff. And it might sound weird, but hey, as an entrepreneur, this dog has been my best friend and helped me really succeed. So I owe him the world for sure. So being that I owe him the world today, Buck, I got something for you. Listen, bro, I got this cookie for you and like, just don't throw it up later. And I actually have two, but we're gonna all take a piece off later and sing him happy birthday and all that. So he knows what's going on. But right now I got I got a couple couple things. So we're just gonna uh, to make sure that the people see. This one guy's got a little messed up. We got one of, one of two birthday items for the boy, this ice cream cone. Now you interested. Now are you interested? Okay, but first off, it is your birthday. We love you. Top Chef Kicks, everyone who watches, we all love you so much. So many people are actually wearing t-shirts with you on the back of them. No, again, you're my best friend. I appreciate everything you've done for me and my family and my friends in the business and uh, to many more, okay? All right, happy birthday. Oh, all right, right, right to work, right to work. All right. So that's about wraps it up. As you can see, he's, he's taking that all at once. Appreciate all the support. We'll see what kind of other footage we get for today. Everyone have a great weekend because it is Friday. Um, yes, thanks for watching. Guys, we're back. It's Friday again. It's been super busy, as you guys can see. Not that Jordan trying on shoes makes him busy, but anyways, I wanted to talk about last night's episode. I wasn't really in the episode that much because I wasn't really feeling that great, as well as I had to move and do a thousand things. So me being in here just wasn't the most productive thing for me the last week. I just want to get a quick golf clap for uh, the way Jordan was negotiating in this episode. We see a lot of good comments on this episode. Some bad ones. There's always going to be, you know, a couple of not so sharp crayons in that box and that's okay. You know, at the end of the day, some of those negotiations were great. People leaving over 50 bucks and then walking right back in and realizing that cash is king and, and uh, if you want to sell your stuff, you sell your stuff. Jordan deciding that he wanted to pay 255 instead of 260 You know, realizing that 255 was a better offer than the person received previously and sticking to that. Negotiation is an art in it's a skill. We're here to win negotiations. I also saw someone talk about how like, oh, the first person who says the price is gonna lose the negotiation. We're not here to lose any negotiations. Take it for what it is. Like, I'm not paying all these bills for people to come in and win negotiations. Yeah, obviously there's a win-win uh, negotiation, but we're not here to lose negotiations. If we lose a negotiation, we made a mistake and a bad decision. So obviously when you go here or anywhere else, you're going somewhere to feel comfortable with the negotiation, the price you get offered, but you're not necessarily gonna win. It's hard to go into a store that has to pay bills and has to make profit and has to pay employees and everything like that and insurance and I could go down the whole list and actually win a negotiation. Negotiating is a beautiful thing. Bartering is a beautiful thing. Business is beautiful to me and, and watching Jordan in this episode personally I think it was great. It was ten toes down. It was poker face like it was Jordan saying he's not going to take my offer so I'm making that offer. The raging bulls and stuff like that that stuff isn't even selling for us so the fact that Jordan decided not to go at $50 he knew that it's like it's not worth it at that point. That's cutting into a profit margin 
margin. That's inventory we don't want. And hey, you can take a walk outside if you want and be that tough guy negotiator and think that you're gonna get over on us, but in reality, you're not. Two minutes later, he walked back in. So I also wanna remind y'all that this is content that stores don't show, at least to my knowledge, like we do. We try to keep it 100% 100 with you guys about everything, whether it's a good negotiation, a bad one, whether we pay too high, pay too low, whatever it is, that's what's going on. With that being said though, it's Buck's birthday. We need to sing Buck happy birthday and all give him a little piece of this little guy. Three, two, one. <laughs> happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Buckalito. Buckets Malone, Buckets the Pug, Buckets the Pug at, at Buckets the Pug on IG. Look what you about to score touchdown. Happy birthday to you. Woo! You're getting a little heavier than I remember. Let me get a flick real quick. Oh Evan, can you grab a couple pics real quick of me with Buck so we can post this on the gram? Happy birthday, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> Just snap a bunch, Evan. I got you. <laughs> oh! Yeah! Let's go! Let's go! Woo! 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 So we're gonna crack a couple pieces of this. We're all each gonna give Buck some. Y'all appreciate Buck so much. Shout out to everyone out there who appreciated this little guy. We love you, and uh, until next year, guys. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Sit, sit. Show the world you lit. All right. Jordan said he hates it. Hating dogs, so you're definitely first. Nah, bro. Nah. What are you scared? I just hate it. Like I hate even feeding my girls dogs. Like hold that for a second. I, I sound hold so Hold that terrible. for a second. Berwin, Berwin. Hold this for a oh, second. Yeah. I'm gonna step on the EC threes, bro. That's crazy. All right, ready, go. Go to Jordan. Damn. <laughs> oh, Jordan's scared. <laughs> All right. That's crazy. It might. This. This. I take a minute. This, this is gonna be a. One minute later, or two, five hours later. Buck, please don't throw up later, especially in the new house. Like, that it's a possibility, sad. but. All right, Buck, you, you get that down yet? <laughs> Maybe, Evan, if you can crack yours into two little pieces, that would be great. And Berwin, we'll, we'll switch it. It's all right, guys. <laughs> Come on. Yo, all right. He all right, needs bedroom. some milk. <laughs> Yo, Buck. This is oh, you threw it off? No, he didn't. He did? Yeah, he just did it. A little piece came out. All right. It's a big piece. No, it was a big piece. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a big piece. I got it I on camera. I think he tried to chew it, and he's like, fuck it, I'll just eat it. I tried to put it in little pieces for him. Because there you go. Struggling. Wait, make him sit. Make him sit. Sit. Ah, uh, my boy. Yeah, my boy went from the gal to the, to the burbs. Uh-huh. Straight Newark. Streets, <laughs> living, living the life. <laughs> Bro, one got something for you. Look, sit, sit. He don't know if he wants the cookie or the hair. Paul, Paul. Word, <laughs> it's the same. All right, got the blue wave going. Damn, bug, you are living the dream today. Wait, wait. <laughs> oh my bad. I ain't gonna lie, these should smell good. Would you get it for? Should I bite one? Hell no. <laughs> for the tube, YouTube. Should I eat a piece? You're not about it. That's not your body. I'm eating a piece, bro. Fuck it. Are they gonna think I'm crazy? Pause. You gotta swallow it. I mean, <laughs> what if it smells good, bro? It, <laughs> it bad, looks gonna be deceiving. Fuck it, man. Bro, that shit is not bad. You really a dog. You actually ate it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro. Can one of y'all take a bite? I'm not doing it. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm good off that. Nah, All right. It tastes like gingerbread, bro. Go ahead, Evan. Go nah, Come on, one of y'all try it. Seriously. Nah. You try me then, go grab nah, a bite. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> That's how much we love Buck over here. We try the dog food. Not that much. You're right. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> the only crazy thing I remember eating as a kid, you ever eat an ant? Yo, yo. Nah, that's some white boy shit. <laughs> that's some crazy I'm white boy shit. <laughs> I used to eat ants back in a kid, as a kid, and so they like tasted like metal a little bit. Like Magnify them? Hell yeah. I've done that. Hell yeah, I used I to do that. I feel like I'm overfeeding you, but <laughs> I, just, I just like, no, we never, I never overfeed him like this, so it's just. It's his birthday. Yeah, man. I want him to, to, to feel, feel something. Live it up, Buck. Go off, Can you turn around? Go off, Buck. Are you about to Earl? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, Pop. Let's get some more water. Either of y'all took a bite of this, you'd be like, wow, that actually tastes like a regular cookie. I'm like not even gassing it up. 
I'm good. I get it. I get it. I'm a good king. Again, what, and like you're not, you're not like sneaker stores on YouTube not eating cookies, <laughs> dog cookies. Like, I'm out here eating dog cookies. Like 2022 birthday celebration. Almost done. Oh, see, he don't even chew it, man. He just swallows them things. We could just have a whole episode of feeding du feeding Buck because he takes ten minutes to eat one treat. <laughs> all right. All right. Get all that. Uh huh. Get all that. Everything good. Look, you got water right here. Now we gotta vacuum all these little pieces of uh, stuff off of the floor. I'm done, bro. We're done. We're done here. Look at the camera. Say, say thank you to the people. Yeah, bro. Got all your mustache. Uh. <laughs> Here we go, that's a good one. That was a good one. Buck has that uh, smoker's cough, guys. Anyway, we appreciate the love. Probably gonna cut it here, right? Yeah. Just one and done this shit. Buck, it's your one and done. Are you ready for the one and done? Here you go. Three, two, one, shoot.